another day another story and uh, my guest today he needs no introduction in this uh, rugby not just in sri lanka internationally he's a former all black uh, the great number eight rodney soyalo hi coach see you man how are you how's things going not too bad not too bad it's a uh, beautiful day can't complain yeah so uh, how's uh, life changed from coming from new zealand to sri lanka nah uh, Yeah, they're coaching different people, but um, you know, um, I, I do what I'm doing here is, uh, is obviously what I love doing, and that's coaching. So, um, giving what I can to to the rugby. So let's go back to the first time you started rugby. How do you start rugby? In where? Which school? Uh, how old were you? Yeah, I think like all Kiwi kids, you know, you um, they all start off playing playing um, with your friends and family, and then. Um, when I first started playing rugby when I was 14 years old so um, I played in the backs at that time and then and then made my way to um, uh, to flanker at um, at the age of 17 so did you enjoy playing as a back off all the most um I enjoyed the physicality that's why I, that's why I joined the uh, forts um, but I love the um, the the attack sort of uh, rugby So but the um, back score all the try so that's also a point to like like being a back yeah but uh, you know what well, what gave me satisfaction was more doing the work and and uh, um, putting in you know the the, um, the hard yards so talk about uh, your first all black debut in mm. 2002 against wales if you could go back to that match were you satisfied with how you performed in that game yeah i think i didn't do it too badly it was um You know, uh, the Welsh game was quite an um, exciting time, and and obviously uh, we've never experienced a crowd like that before. Because in New Zealand, you probably get maybe forty-five thousand. I I think in um, Wales and the Welsh um, crowd, we had ninety thousand, I think. So there's quite a um, big difference in in um, yeah the crowd sides. How did it feel wearing that all black jersey for the first time and going to the middle of the field and doing the haka? Was it like a dream come true? Yeah, for me it's more um, satisfaction for um, my family and friends and the people that I'm that have sacrificed a lot for me to get there, you know. So it was more gratitude and and sort of um, repaying, um, yeah, those people back, especially my parents. Not only in 15s, you played as a sevens player as well for New Zealand. It's not always that you see a same player playing in both formats of the game. Mm. So, what would you uh, consider as your favorite, the 15s or the sevens? Oh, definitely 15s. I mean, uh, sevens is, uh, is a good game to um, to start with. You know, the attacking and, and, and seeing space um, space awareness. So, um, sevens is definitely that. But uh, 15s is more. Uh, Composure yeah. and structured. So you have, well, there's a lot more physicality in in the 15s. There's a lot more structure and and um, a lot more thinking that's involved in the 15s game. But that year, 2002, was a brilliant year for you in sevens. If I'm not mistaken, because the Commonwealth Games and then the uh, sevens World Cup, you had gold medals in both. So talk us through that journey. Yeah. Uh, that was just a special journey. I mean, um, again, you know, we uh, that that. That year was actually um, well, I had a, a major injury, which nearly cost me the the um, Commonwealth Games. But um, I, I worked really hard on the um, on my rehab and and getting back in, um, getting back into that team. So then, as from being a player, you made the transition to coaching. You yeah. joined the local uh, New Zealand club. So how was that transition going to happen? You from player to coach. How different is it being a player and then becoming a coach? Can any player become a coach? No, um, that's the that's the special thing. I mean, about rugby is that um, you can be a great player, but it doesn't necessarily mean you've got to be a good coach. So um, the only reason why I, I I really enjoy coaching is because it um, it um, is the challenges that come with uh, uh, with the coaching side of it. I mean, once once you sort of achieve what you what you can in, in the playing side. Um, You know, towards towards the last probably three years of my my playing professional rugby, I I really enjoyed the the coaching side. So um, uh, challenging people to to um, 
to change and challenging the players, how, 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 how can you develop them? So you could say that uh, you enjoy being a coach, then you a player? Yeah, oh, definitely, uh, uh, definitely. It's, it's, it's given me that, um, that love and that passion back into, uh, into rugby. Let's talk about uh, an unforgettable memory of you as a player and then as a coach. If you could tell us a piece that you'll never forget being a player. Uh, yeah, obviously your um, um, every, every moment that you that you have in your playing career is, um, is special, uh, especially if you're making the All Blacks. Um, you know, because you never you never take those for granted because uh, you're you're there to. Uh, you, it's not your jersey. It's um, you're there to look after that jersey. So you try to leave it in the best place that you can um, when you finish. So for for me, it was um, getting named in the, in the All Blacks. Obviously. So it's a good time for us, and then um, yeah, and then in my coaching, um, I've, I've made some massive um, um, goals. I've set myself some big goals, and I've achieved most of those goals. So, um, and this is just one of those things that we that we're setting here with uh, Trinity College. So, I've got some goals there, that personal goals that I want to achieve there. How has the change been coming from New Zealand, coming to a country that's not? Standard of rugby is not as high as New Zealand, but coming here and coaching, how has that uh, challenge been to you? Well, it's been good. Uh, that's exactly the reason why I came here, um, because I, you know, I, I want to go as high as I can in the coaching. And the best way to do that is not to be complacent and and coach somewhere that um, that needs to be coached. Um, so um, yeah, if, you, if you're gonna if you're gonna develop and find out how good of a coach you are, go and coach somewhere that you. And that's my only challenge to other coaches is that, um, is that you, you know, go, go and go and experience um, coaching um, a place that needs to be coached. So what would you say is the difference between rugby in Sri Lanka and rugby there? What have you seen so far in your time here in Sri Lanka? What, what is the difference between the structure of Sri Lankan rugby and rugby over there? Well, there's a few things. I mean, the logistics stuff that, that needs to be sorted out here. Um, but the difference in... And the rugby, it's um, there's a lot of lot of passion here um, for rugby uh, in, in Sri Lanka. I, I think it's slightly more than um, <laughs> New Zealand, to be honest. There's, um, there's a lot of passion and people that love rugby, but um, sometimes the um, the understanding of, of what it is that they're doing um, is not there. So that's that's my job here is to try and get these guys to understand what it is their core role is, and then and then uh, figure out how, how, how we win, so. Do you think Sri Lanka could uh, reach that peak anytime soon in rugby? Oh, there's a lot of stuff that needs to go, uh, needs to be done first. Um, and obviously having a, a, a stronger club competition would be fantastic. I mean, uh, the club competition here is... Um, Just eight teams and not that yeah. really standard, yeah. And uh, there's, there's, um, there's a massive... Um, difference between club you know, clubs or a club to another club so so if you want to create competition you need um, you, you need stronger stronger competition talking about uh, Trinity College yeah. how has uh, the team been to you are you happy with how they're faring so far yeah the boys are really um, they were really, really working hard um, from where they were um, at the beginning it's uh, to, to where they are now you know we're, we're not there no, we're not there yet but um, but I'm happy with the progress that's happening. Was there a lot to change when you came here or were they at a, a certain standard? No, there's a lot that needed to be changed. Um, um, and I think the boys are taking that really, really on board and, and working hard. So if you could say that there's one goal now as uh, that you said, like you said earlier, what would that goal be? Our, our goal here is just to enjoy the rugby, um, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we, have, we do have personal goals that we, that we want to achieve. Uh, but the first thing for us is just to um, create competition in, in, in the school first and in, uh, in, in Trinity College um, and, in, and then we'll focus on on the other stuff as well. Alright coach, uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you so much. So I wish you all the very best uh, with thank your you team and with your personal goals. So that was uh, Rodney Soyalo and all that great who just uh, spoke to us. So stay locked to the papaya.com. We bring you more videos like this. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon for our latest content.